Okay guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a uh, an auto exec file for a quake that enables bump mapping. Okay, so first what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go into your dark places quake folder. Go into your quake folder. Go into ID1 folder. Your ID1 folder. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go to new you're going to create a file you're going to go to new and then you're going to add a text document and you're going to name that auto exec so you're creating an auto exec file go ahead and save it then you're going to open up that file and you're going to write this into that file. You're gonna write R underscore shadow underscore bump scale underscore base texture space parentheses 15 parentheses. Now you can change this value to whatever you like. If it's set to uh, zero you won't get any bump mapping. Uh, you can set it higher than 15. Uh, the higher it is uh, the more uh, the more the bump mapping is going to show up. It's going to be more bump mapped. But I have it set to 15 because it's uh, it's not too overwhelming and it's not too uh, subtle. It's just like the perfect amount for me. But yeah, you can go ahead and change that value to whatever you want. And then you're going to go to File, Save. Or you're going to save it as. Yeah, File, Save As. You're going to keep it as Auto Exec like that auto exec save file type you're gonna save it as all files and you're gonna make the extension CFG for config so you've just created a uh, auto exec config file it's right there this is the old one yeah I don't really need that that's a uh, that was from a different video, so I just deleted that. But here's the uh, auto exec file, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and run Quake, and I'm going to show you what it looks like with bump mapping.